Yeah, and uh, now look at the uh, example three. This is on the ellipsoid. So use traces to sketch the quadric surface with equation right here. So x squared plus y squared over nine plus z squared over four equals one. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. So solution by substituting z equals zero, uh, we find the trace in the x, y plane. So yeah, basically plug in a, a zero there and then see what happens to that. And uh, let's look at this. So if we plug in z equals zero, z equals zero. So we're gonna get a x squared. Uh, yeah, x squared uh, is just, uh, nothing like that. Then y squared over nine equals to one. And uh, this is just an ellipse, actually. This is just going to be an ellipse. We'll put the on top here. Ellipse. So you can see how it's written. So x squared over, yeah, over, I just uh, shifted the stuff around to put the ellipse at the bottom. So you're going to have an x squared for completeness, x squared over one squared, which is just one, and it just equals x. It doesn't change anything. And then the next one's y squared equals to, well, instead of nine, we could write three squared, and this equals to one. So there's our a's at a is one and then our y is three. So you could see that uh, I mean our b is three. So there's an ellipse x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals one. So we have an ellipse like that. And this is for z equals two zero. So yeah, this uh, equation when you plug it in, we get this trace, which we recognize as an equation of an ellipse. So in general, the horizontal trace in the uh, plane z equals k. So when you when you have the vertical one, it's, ver uh, it's going to be a horizontal plane. And you're going to have the equations inside there, like that. So it's going to be a horizontal trace in the plane z equals k is going to be. So instead of z equals zero, we're going to have uh, z equals to k. So at z equals to k, we're going to have the uh, horizontal traces. That's going to be this equation: x squared plus y squared over nine equals to one. Uh, and then uh, we also had this right here. Uh, this is the z squared uh, divided by four. So instead of zero, we're going to put in k and then shift it over to the other side. We're going to have minus k squared over four. k squared over four, like that. And uh, yeah, so this equation, uh, this is an ellipse, provided that k squared is less than four. Uh, that is the absolute value of k is going to be, uh, well, less than two. So in other words, k is between negative two and two. This is so that the right side isn't negative. Uh, or zero since the uh, left side is always positive. So in this case, we always want this to be, um, yeah, because the, the left side is always positive. So this part right here, because you have an x squared, so whatever you have in there, you're gonna have a positive number and, and y squared is gonna be positive number. So this is gonna be greater than or equal to zero. And this part right here, we need it also to be greater than uh, or equal to zero. And uh, this is so that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, basically if you look at right here, so k squared, if k squared is, uh, yeah, it has to be less than four. So that this value is going to be less than one, and then one minus that is going to be um, yeah positive. So it's uh, yeah one minus a number smaller than a one, you're going to be positive. So it's all equal to zero. And this uh, zero part, we don't want it to equal to zero because we want the uh, this, this the ellipses. But if this is somehow equal to zero, you're going to get a line because this will be uh, x x squared plus y squared over nine equals zero. Move this around, you'll just have a y equals x uh, type of line, but with a nine somewhere there. It's actually just going to be a trivial result, and we'll just uh, look at the uh, ellipse side. And this one, this becomes an ellipse because, well, you can write this in this format. Uh, so this ellipse right here, this is how the format x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. So you can get this format by uh, uh, dividing out the right side uh, by itself, uh, and then do it to both sides just so that we get 1. For example, so for example, for example, I'll just do an example right here. We have, let's say that we have k is equal to, yeah, k is equal to one. So if we have k equals to one, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get x squared plus y squared over, over nine equals to one minus, and then we'll have uh, k squared as one, uh, yeah, one squared is one divided by four times by top and bottom. This equals to four minus one is three or four. So to get it in the standard form, well, we just divide this out by three or four on both sides. And we're gonna get x squared over three over four, like that, and then plus y squared over, this is gonna be nine, divided by uh, three over four. Well, three, four, yeah, it's gonna just go inside it. So we're gonna go 
Here we're gonna go three over four, but then now uh, you could just multiply the three by the nine or get 27 over four equals to one. And uh, these ones, uh, you can uh, obviously write these as square roots uh, and so on. Yeah, square roots and then squared to get the radius. And uh, this is gonna be our standard form like that. And uh, yeah, this is just an ellipse. And you can uh, uh, convert those uh, over to here. Yeah, the a squared and so on. And uh, yeah, similarly, the vertical traces are also ellipses, and you'll get this one from yeah from. We'll just set the uh, x equals to k, the first one. X equals to k. And then when you set x equals to k right here, um, yeah. If we just uh, scroll up uh, here, so x equals to k right here. Uh, move it around, you're going to get a, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go start from the uh, original here. So y squared plus 9 plus z squared divided by 4 equals 1 minus k squared. So we're going to get y squared over 9 plus z squared over 4 equals 2, 1 minus k squared. And again, in this case, it's going to be an ellipse if, uh, if we have um, uh, k is going to be less than uh, 1 or greater than negative one, like that. So that this value here on the right side is gonna be positive. Yeah, positive and not zero. And then similarly for this part right here, y equals to k, uh, we're gonna get a value such as x squared plus z squared over four. And this equals to move over the y, it's gonna be now what, uh, one minus k squared over nine. And again, this is if k is less than, this is gonna be three now, negative three because we'll have three squared is nine, so that this has to be less than that. All right, so let's graph all this out. So the figure below shows how drawing some traces indicates the shape of the surface. All right, so uh, let's take a look. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw the surface and we'll, we'll just uh, get straight to it because it's hard to draw all in 3D or three dimensions. So what you can actually have is gonna shape, it's gonna look like this, where it's gonna be a, uh, a uh, basically in uh, an ellipsoid, so elliptic a figure like that. It'll look like this. All right, and this is in 3D. And this part right here is the uh, Z axis. And this goes all the way across here. And this goes, this is the Y. And this is going to be uh, the X. Yeah, it's going to look something like that. So let's uh, write uh, the equation again. So it's the x squared plus y squared over 9 plus z squared uh, over 4 equals to 1. So uh, let's look at it when we'll have when z is equal to 0, you're just going to have, uh, you're just going to have this part. Oops, when z equals 0, we're going to have this part. So then that means the x, the, the a part is 1. So it's going to be right here, it's going to be 1. So at this point, it's going to be 1. And it's, it's, so it's an ellipse. So this is going to be 1, 0, 0. So because we're setting uh, x equals, I mean, z equals to 0. And it's also, yeah, it's not just 1, it's going to be plus or minus 1, because it's the a uh, squared there. It's the 1 squared. So then this, uh, the, the back side is going to be the negative. So this is going to be negative 1, 0, 0. And similarly, at this point right here, this is where uh, we'll have, this is the uh, nine, like that. So that's gonna be three squared. Let's leave it like that. So three squared is going to be, I'll just put that like this, three squared. And this be, becomes two squared. So this right here is gonna be our three, or a zero, three, three, zero. Our zero, three, zero. Like that. And then the uh, back side's gonna be the same thing, but negative three, I'll just leave it like that. No, actually, yeah, I'll just ignore it. Okay, so that's, it's gonna be uh, at the um, negative, and then the top one's gonna be, and this is one as if you set any one of these to, to zero, so if you set the, I mean, if you set the X or the Y to zero, you're gonna have the Z is gonna be at two, they're all just gonna be ellipses. So anyway, we can see the ellipse right here. This one's the horizontal ellipse at Z equals zero, and then this is the, uh, at uh, x equals to, uh, yeah, I mean at y equals to zero. So set y equals to zero, you're gonna have x squared plus z squared over two squared, and that's this part right here. It's gonna be uh, zero, zero, two, and it's gonna be an ellipse like this, vertical ellipse. 
goes through, goes like that. So yes, epic, epic stuff there. And then if you draw more ellipses, it's going to look something like this. And uh, yeah, so the traces are just ellipses. And it keeps going on and on. So it looks something like that. All right, so going, growing uh, further, as always, we can graph this in a GeoGebra. So you can write it like this, and we'll graph it out. Let's go to it. Oops. Right here. So we go over it right here. So hide this and show this one. So there's our, uh, and I had the, uh, zoom in, yeah, zoom into the wrong thing. This is one like that. Yeah, yeah, that's one. This is going to be three. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit lopsided. If I can zoom in this part. So yeah, so it looks, uh, the, the, yeah, that's the shape it is. Yeah, it's actually a more vertical like that. Yes, yeah, so if we go back to mine, uh, yeah, this is, this is way too wide. It should be shrunken over like this because this is at one. <laughs> this is at uh, zero, zero, two like that. And uh, yeah, so here I just quickly uh, copy and paste it from my calculus book just to get a better image. So this one, <laughs> let's keep it there for the uh, laugh. So here's a better image from my calculus book. So it looks like that. And uh, yeah, that is much more in line with, uh, this is a GeoGebra 3D graphing calculator. So yeah, that's pretty cool shape. It's like a smooth rock. All right, let's go and let's continue further. So it's called a, an ellipsoid because all of its traces are ellipses. And then uh, notice that it is symmetric with respect to each coordinate plane. Uh, this is a reflection of the fact that its equation involves only even powers of x, y, and z. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, this uh, stems from, uh, well, the idea of if you have a uh, square, for example, it's all even power. So if you have an even power, uh, if you're solving that equation for x squared, you're going to have x squared equals to, uh, et cetera. I'll just call it, uh, I'll just say dot, dot, dot. Then if you take the uh, square root of it, you're going to have a plus or minus dot, 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 dot. So plus or minus, and it's going to be, again, symmetric about it. Because you're going to have whatever answer, then you're going to uh, have plus or minus. Same thing if you had a four. Uh, to the four like that, uh, and then if you take the the cube root of it, it's going to be a fourth cubic root. And you're also going to have a plus or minus setup. And uh, here I just uh, added the added both of them for completeness. And again, if you have a to the four right here, if it's an even power, uh, you're going to have actually this is the four. You got the fourth cube root. Basically, uh, uh, whatever number you have, if it's all minus, for example, one minus one times minus one times uh, minus one times minus one, it's going to be positive because it be four of these, so they all cancel out equals to greater than zero. Or if they're all positive, it's the same thing as if you had all positive, so it's the same thing. So again, uh, even, even multiples of a negative is going to be positive.